boys and girls I thought I would try another YouTube video today and um, I think I'm entertaining myself more than I'm entertaining you but um, let's have fun so today I thought I'll tell you about vendor pots so do you understand clay clay is my first love as I've told you pottery and it is something that I've devoted about 20 years of my life to. I don't pot myself. Mind the pun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> let's get to the point. So, pots and pottery and clay. So, I have many people that have told me over many years that um, they don't want to buy these um, African pots because they fall apart. Um, and it is not it is true they do fall apart um, there are things you can do to prevent that and there are reasons for for them falling apart so maybe in the interest of being a bit more um, sort of close up let's show you the pot um, so this is a typical vendor pot um, the the way that pottery works is potters use essentially, you know, in total layman's terms, mud um, and they fashion a vessel which takes an enormous amount of skill and then it gets fired in a kiln and it the, the, um, the burning material or whatever the heat is generated uh, with wood or with um, gas or with electricity um, and the heat must be uh, sort of um, it must get to a certain temperature it must be kept there for a, a certain amount of time and then it um, needs to reduce slowly so that the vessel doesn't break so if you understand all of these things then um, you would appreciate any pottery your teacup your coffee mug everything is just absolutely amazing so what happens with african produced products um, is they they use mud that is also from the river but not purified so it has um, little sticks and little undecomposed little bits of poo and all kinds of shit I guess is the right word um, in it and um, they use amazing skill to fashion it into these wonderful vessels and then they essentially fire it in a like a briarflace fire so it's not really very very hot um, and there isn't a massive amount of control over the the temperature and um, the result is that out of one pot that you'd find being for sale they would have probably made about 10 and nine would have broken so um, so there is a, a huge um, cost involved and then um, then you buy it and you plant it with soil so let me explain it to you like this well, let me stand this side because my looks like I frown a lot I do frown and this sun so um, clay clay particles are sort of I don't know the way I, I explain to people is like um, when you that mud that we start with when you expose it to heat then those particles fuse so the the gaps in between the particles become um, well get reduced or disappear so the the type of um, if you if you saw a, um, a, a piece of pottery fired in a kiln then and it broke then you'd see the um, the shard would like be completely um, smooth I must actually find a piece for you somewhere I must have something but anyway so just for for the purposes of, of now um, a vessel like this the particles the, the heat hasn't been enough to fuse so there are little gaps so what happens I'm sure there's a hook in my hair now feels like it um, what happens is when you, when you've planted something in this vessel 
you you water it obviously because you need to water a plant and water goes into those little gaps that is still there and that's why sometimes you see a pot just literally going back to mud so um so there's a lot of um and then if you you know you go back to in history um uh, you know how people lived and the hunters and the nomads and how they traveled um you know after grazing for you know for the animals and stuff they made these vessels and they basically left them behind and they would go back to um they would go back to the earth which was actually quite neat um because we don't have plastic and um well they didn't have plastic and um so i guess it was you know there's there's a upside to that um so what can you and i do if we like this look but we'd like to plant in it so i will give you i have lots of tips and i will be sharing some of them with you and this is 20 years of my life so so you better be very appreciative so what we do is we seal these pots when we get them so the vendor pots i've got i've actually had for a number of years and um, so you can quite safely buy them they're not going to fall apart um and um and you can have a happy plant growing in them so uh yeah let's see how this video turned out i hope you have a wonderful day excuse all this frowning and the sun bye